right, following up on Cody and Owens with the women's tag titles. This is the one that I could see a title change happening. The following contest Sorry, I don't want to interrupt uh, Samantha. I mean, this whole division is super weak right now. I kind of feel like Alba Fire and Isla Dawn really only won the titles to give um, the Scotland crowd like a hometown win. So, um,. I don't know. I could definitely see Jade and Bianca. What's up, guy? I see you there. I could definitely see Jade and Bianca um, taking back the titles here. But I could see it staying, too. I'm going to pick Jade and Bianca, but I'm, I'm pretty 50-50 on this one. I'm trying to think who else. Because Asuka's out. So there's no Kabuki Warriors. Pretty sure Dakota's injured. So if like Io and Kyrie been teaming, I don't know if that really counts. Then you got Chelsea and Piper. Uh, whatever they're calling Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter, I forget now. Oh, Katana Chance is her name. And then there's that group now with Sonya Deville and Baszler. I mean, there's not a lot of women's tag teams. But it feels like they mostly have heels, so... I mean, Naomi and Blair Davenport gotta get involved here too, right? So... I'm trying to, like, talk myself out of my pick, but I think I'm... I think I'm gonna stick with Jade and Bianca. This was a little rough back at Clash, so hopefully they have uh, worked out the kinks. I feel like they've been working against these guys for a while. For a while. I don't know why I said it with a southern accent, for a while. I think it was Jade that had a couple rough botches back at Clash. Ooh! That's a hell of a gut buster there. Slow down, girls. I feel like they're rushing. Genetics. How do you possibly contend with that? Like, did they get their time cut? Bianca. Good lord. That looked like Jade forgot about that spot. That was almost like when, uh... What was it? Back at SummerSlam 92 when Brett goes over the top onto Davey and Davey forgot, so Brett just kind of clotheslines him. That kind of looked like that there. They still haven't pinned Jade yet. Well, I think at least they're doing it smarter than AEW did. AEW was trying to Goldberg her. And then she lost two matches in a row and left the company. <laughs> this already feels kind of similar to the match they had at Clash. If she tags Jade and Jade does tries to do the springboard in again, then... It's like, yep, okay, we're doing the same thing as Clash. Bianca Belair now. Oh, look at that! What a move by Fire! Into the DDT! Hook of the leg! I mean, Alba Fire's good. I'm just... I'm not sold on Isla Dawn. And what do you know? Old school tag team wrestling. Distracting the ref. Double team in the corner. People actually using tag ropes. What is up with that? No way. Oh, I thought she was doing the springboard again. <laughs> she fell on it at Clash. I'm pretty sure. I could have lived without the splashes in the corner, though. Those didn't look great. Now, a vertical suplex. Oh, that was that a... I don't know if she was going for a jackhammer there, or if she just... Almost messed it up. I can't tell. And another super kick. How about a, how about a, how about a super kick again? This might be the finish. Double team. Cover for the championship. 
no, 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 not yet. I don't think she was supposed to kick out of that. I think Isla Dawn was late on the save. Oh, here comes finish time. I think this is it. I don't think Alba Fire's getting back up. And there again, we've seen this before. Yep, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep. Give him the titles again. I had a feeling. Yeah, I think that win at Clash for Dawn and Fire was just to give them a hometown win. Because I think eventually, I still think that Jade and Bianca, they're going to split. And it's going to be because of them losing the tag titles. There was almost like, kind of like that, just that little hiccup put in the middle of that, uh, of their storyline, or their story. I didn't want to say their story like Cody, but you know what I mean. However this ends, I think that was just a, a little blip. But I think that match was a little bit better than Clash. But not like exceptional or anything. Two for two on predictions, though, so...